I'm going to quickly take you through the process of registering for your PeerWise user account. You'll notice in the Blackboard announcement section of the Bio 4332 site, there's this announcement. It'll give you a bunch of information that you're going to need to know. There's a link that's listed there. We'll come back to that in a minute. It says you're going to have to choose an anonymous username and a password for your PeerWise account. I mentioned that one of the real advantages of the PeerWise site is that it can be totally anonymous. Now, that degree of anonymity is going to depend to a large part on the type of username you choose. If you select a username that makes it very easy to guess who you really are, you're going to lose out on a lot of that anonymity. So think about a username that will, in fact, make you totally anonymous and a password to go along with it. The other thing you'll be asked to enter at some point is the course ID that's listed in the Blackboard announcement. So jot that down so that you can enter it when you're asked. You're also going to be asked at some point to put in an identifier. Um, this basically is something that allows the site to know that you, in fact, have been authorized to enter the course. So I've put together a list of people who can enter the course, and it's based on your Algonquin College username. Typically, that's the first four letters of your last name, followed by four numbers. So no one else on the site will see that except for me. But again, as I say, it just authenticates that you, in fact, are a student in the course and you can enter. So once you pick the username, once you pick the password, jotted down that information, then you can click on the link. And that'll bring you to the registration site. Since you haven't been here before, you haven't registered before, we're going to click on the registration link. Once you have registered, then, as with most other sites, you just enter your username, enter your password, log in, and away you go. But this is their first time, so we have to register first. Again, it's reminding you, you're going to have to choose a username, you're going to need a password, Remember the course ID and your identifier. Once you have that, sure, let's begin the registration process. So what username are we going to use? For the sake of argument, I'm going to use DemoDH for this demonstration. I'm going to select that name. Yep, that's still available. No one's used that before, so it comes up all right. If the username you had picked has already been used, you would get a message indicating that you'd have to go back and pick another username. But DemoDH is still good. I'm going to put in a password for that and, of course, confirm it. We'll save that. Now, here's where you enter that course ID number that was listed in the Blackboard announcement. Join the course. So, demo DH, my password, course ID. Now, here's where we enter that Algonquin username just to make sure you are in fact legit. Submit it. Okay, that's good. That's confirmed. Let's go ahead and create the PeerWise account. Good. Now, welcome. You've successfully registered. Please log in using the username and password that you choose. Now, it's a good idea to wait four or five minutes just to make sure that everything gets updated in the system before you try to log in. And you'll log in using your newly created username and the password you chose. Log in. And you'll see there's a course appearing now. So now you're currently a member of that course. Now, you'll also see that it says, please provide an email address just in case you ever forget your password, which sometimes can happen. That way they'll be able to send uh, you a renewal via the, the email. So go ahead and put in an um, uh, email address. And I would suggest that you use your uh, college email address. And I'm going to use a Gmail address, though. So you can use any address you want. And it's going to send a verification code to that address. When you receive that email address, you're going to want to highlight and copy that verification code. Go back to your PeerWise site, paste in the verification code, and submit it. So now you're actively enrolled in the course. To enter it, you would simply click on the link that's there, and this will give you to the main site, which we'll talk about in later editions.